closer, but no. Yeah, do you really ever get exactly what you want in studio? I think I don't. Yeah, I don't think so. You'd have to put like fucking years and years to get exactly what you want. Then it'll be past date, and you have to work on it again. But yeah. it's close to what we want. It's definitely yeah. closer than everything we put out so far. Yes. Let's say that this is the record I'm the most proud of when it comes out. Let's say all the other records, by the time they were coming out, I was already hearing all the mistakes, all the thing, and I was like, yeah, it's too like this. Ah, I was annoyed. And this one's like it's coming out now, and it's out now, and I'm like, uh, this is actually fucking good. This is like. I think we're the closest that we've ever been so far yeah. to what we really want. So I think it's a good sign as long as we keep going yeah, that but way. At the same time, do you really want to be satisfied that you finish the album? It's like, yeah, this is it. Yeah, exactly. You always want to push yourself and be like, you, you always want to do something better in the next CD. So you'll never, like I said, you'll never be 100%. I'm uh, 100% satisfied in the CD because if you have then there's nothing else to work on you know yeah, there's if no you're 100% more. satisfied what else are you going to do after the CD there's no more will there's no more like, yeah. Yeah, so. so wait to hear the new record I'm talking about the next one <laughs> that's not written yet yeah. I can't really pinpoint one song in particular because I think the whole album is pretty good and pretty intense like we wanted really extremes but in my book there's not one song that I can say oh that one I'm more satisfied than the other ones I think we're all, they're all a package, man. Well, actually, the, the last track actually is Unheard is like this one song that because maybe it's because the track was like it was in work for so long that when we finally f finished it, I was like, holy fuck, this, the, the, it has everything. It's like melody, it's like there's like, a, like some heavy fucking grooves in it. And it's, I listen to it and it's pretty, it's, yeah, it's out there. It's out there in good tracks. Well, hunted like where the play, this, we played tonight, hunted, and uh, when Chris came out with that song, uh, we were working on it. I didn't, I didn't even think that you know it would be one. Of, I thought it was one of those songs that you you never really play live or maybe on a headline show. But but once we recorded it, we just like fuck it, we got to yeah, play it. Like hearing it more and more, it's like shit, man. This and that track really is like in your face. And it's like so we had to play it live, and now that we play it live, I kind of like it more and more. I really like that song. Like I said, yeah. I listen to it so much. I, it's fast. It, it got me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we. left hand. <laughs> Seriously, no. but the, here's the thing: left hand and symptoms are both songs that, for me, like man, what like left hands is a tapping of the beginning. The rest yeah. of it, it's like it's just because it's fast. It's, it's fast. And it's, it's not that complicated because a lot of our songs, it's it's not that it's that complicated. It's a, it's a lot of mem memorization. You know, it's yeah. so many different parts in the songs. It's just that's what's hard. Something just remembering yeah. little subtleties. You got to remember. That's you the need to count part. to more than four for sure. Yeah. If you just try to loop at four, you're gonna miss it. You can ask the the new guy about that. He could tell you a lot. Of it. <laughs> He's learning the new song. He's like, "Man, what the hell are those patterns, guys?" <laughs> yeah. But yeah, seriously, the two songs we're playing live, like two out of the three, I think those those were the the hardest song of the CD. So. Man, this is totally a hundred. I got I got breaking news here, and I was totally a hundred and ten percent gimmick. I don't, of course, I don't press weights when I was just. I think it was there Unless the whole. You guys request it. Yeah, if you guys want it, I'll bring it. But we'll no, it, it. I, I I saw this dumbbell and like Chris was filming. I'm just like yeah, whatever. And actually, it's the only like footage that we kept from me recording. So it's we're crazy. Funny. We're crazy that way. <laughs> we're, we're crazy. We're crazy. I do boxing at home, I train boxing, and it's just an inspiring session, helping these guys out for amateur fights, and you get caught sometimes, you know, and I got caught, and no big deal, it'll happen again, it's happened before, and it'll happen in the future. But it's true, like, I just saw him coming in, and I was just like, what's that gash on your face, man, what, the, what is this, and it's like, I was in a knife fight, yeah. <laughs> and when we looked at the footage, because, you know, like, the little video we did, it's like, so many bands now are doing, like, in-studio videos, and they have nothing to say, really, or they try to make it more complicated than it really is, you know, and us, we let the camera there for the entire tu studio session, and this, it's been like, man, the recording was long, you know, we didn't do it full time, we took our, 
<laughs> we took our sweet ass time to do this and when we opened the camera because like prosthetic and everyone was like you know we need promotion and we need to put something on the internet about the recording pro uh, process and i opened this and it was just all a bunch of random shit like you know like muffin the cat drinking you, and chris is crazy that crazy. guy with a black eye me lifting dumbbells there's nothing serious like i was like hmm. yeah I, i don't fight in the streets i fight in the ring i like yeah. to fight in the ring i'm not i'm not all about street fighting for real we're all about street loving yeah street love <laughs> ele man like the great will ferrell once said everybody love everybody ele ele